Hi everyone! Today, this video is going to be a bit of a mixture. It's going to have some Illuminati Freemason symbolism in it, but it's also going to be a bit about me talking about Spider-Man Homecoming. So this video does contain spoilers of Spider-Man Homecoming, just uh, as a warning. <clears throat> so first of all, obviously you see the Freemason checkerboard symbolism right here. And here's your Obama side character. There's the red for Satan. Louisa Johnson represents the Revelation 12 woman. Now, shocker, um, he was supposed to wear this suit in the movie, but he never did. Which is really annoying because this suit looks absolutely awesome because it looks really similar to his comics suit. Um... See the Eye of Horus right there. The Illuminati Eye that's on top of the pyramid. <clears throat> it says Spider-Man Homecoming writers on the scene that redefines the movie. So the weird thing is, it turns out that Vulture is actually Liz Allen's dad in the movie. <clears throat> now... This I find really weird, because surely her name should be Liz Toombs and not Liz Allen. But there we go. Now, Simone, now a big brother, represents the Revelation 12 woman. And the Chanel person represents the woman of wickedness. Basically... This Andrew guy is like the Mad Hatter out of Gotham and Batman and Alice in Wonderland. See? See how he's wearing a hat? See how he's wearing a hat? And they're both black hats. See? <clears throat> There's Alice. So. Here's the Revelation 12 woman. Alice represents her. She's wearing white for heaven. Now, if we look at this 2015 Economist cover, we zoom in. There's Spider-Man. And there's Alice, see? You can equate this to Alice Kingsley, Alice Liddle, um, Alice Tetch, even Alice in Resident Evil. Basically, Andrew Moriarty out of Sherlock and Mad Hatter out of Gotham and Batman, they're all the Satan character. <clears throat> because, think about it, this guy's called Andrew... And Andrew Scott plays Moriarty in BBC Sherlock. <clears throat> so, so, we have perfect symbolism here. We have the Mad Hatter character, Andrew, the Alice character, Simone, and then his last name is Crookshanks. Just like Crookshanks the cat out of Harry Potter. But do you know who's also a cat? That's right, the Cheshire Cat out of Alice in Wonderland. Dun dun dun! An, an example of another cat. Black Cat out of Spider-Man. And even Catwoman. Out of Batman. Black Cat and Catwoman. They are both the Alice characters. They are both the Revelation 12 characters. Just like uh, Louisa Johnson is. This whole video is about the ship of souls leaving for heaven with the plane and the bus. The plane and the bus represents the ship. 
So, <clears throat> basically, some people think this is Gwen Stacy because of the blonde hair, whereas other people, like the Grox one, seem to think this Mary Jane. But could it actually be Felicia Hardy, aka the Black Cat? Because, yes, when Felicia Har Hardy is in her Black Cat costume, she has silver hair. But when she's just plain old Felicia Hardy, she has blonde hair. Um, unless you count Amazing Spider-Man 2, where she has brunette hair, but we won't go into that. Um, <laughs> so this picture could literally be like Spider-Man with black hair right there. <clears throat> I mean, literally, Black Cat could be the Cheshire Cat and Alice combined into one character. Like, <clears throat> so anyway. Basically, there's the plane in the background. And then, um, well, that represents an Illuminati pyramid. And then, there, oh. There's the bus, there. See the bus? So, Here's the chains that are supposed to bind Satan in the pet. And then all of this fire, um, this is supposed to represent, like, the, the, there's going to be, like, loads of fire on the air for the end of days. Like, the fire is basically going to come out of hell and, and basically go up onto the surface of the earth. And then even like that free that Freemason checkerboard symbolism below is behind her, see? Oh, did you see that woman with the eye of forest on there? You may have missed that, so I'll play it again. Right there. Just like Katy Perry at Glastonbury, see? And even can you make out that V or 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 the pyramid on her head? See? The V for the fifth age. See? This I is everywhere. It's there. And it's there. If we look at Revelation 12, it says, And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished for a diamond times and half a time, from the face of the serpent. The serpent being Satan, a.k.a. the dragon. So, this has everything to do with her ascending into heaven. That is why Louisa is on the plane, because she's getting ready to leave. She's getting ready to get out of here. To go into heaven. Because she's got to give birth to our immortal souls. Notice how it says two wings of a great eagle. Just like the plane has two wings, see? There's the white plane for heaven and then the blue plane for Jesus. And Israel and Jacob. Oh, that was so weird then. You know how 9-11 is to do with planes? Well, basically, I paused the, the video for a second and it actually said on the timer, 9-11. <laughs> so that's a bit creepy. I mean, weird things have been happening with the solar system and the moon lately. <clears throat> but what's new, eh? Here, we can see Sam Lavery's got one eye covered over and one eye exposed. That's a massive Illuminati thing. 
it's interesting how sometimes the Revelation 12 woman is with a dog, but other times um, she's with a cat. Because, like, here she's with a dog. But, of course, here she's with a, she's with a cat. Like, <laughs> sometimes she, she's even seen as a cat. See? Basically, the whole world is a connected, intertangled web of deceit. See? They're both wearing white for heaven. She's got blonde hair. And so does she. Doesn't her face look similar to her face? I mean, this Alice character could be seen as the female Ghostbusters. Because look, here's a ghost here. Sometimes the Rev 12 woman's seen as a dog. Sometimes she's seen as a cat. Sometimes she can be seen as entirely different animals. There is Louisa, a.k.a. Alice, the blonde. Here's the guy with the shade, Putin. Here's the guy with the shade, see? And then Louise is doing some sort of Illuminati Freemason hand gesture right there. Basically, you've got to be on your best behaviour to be admitted into heaven. The V for the fifth age that we've got to pass over. Do you see the 666 there? Because 999 is like 666 upside down. <clears throat> and then basically, um, this whole video is pretty much like a massive sex ritual. So basically, this like represents just like when Scarlet Witch does her gypsy dancing. So, see the V for the fifth age. Then, check out Sam Lavery's Twitter. Just look at the color scheme the white for heaven and the blue for Jesus. Going back to this video with the blue and white planes. I mean, it's even got to do with the white in the background here. Like, even though um, black cat um, is supposed to have silver hair, sometimes her hair looks white for heaven. And her fur is white for heaven. I mean, she wears black for the time of darkness coming. Well, that time of darkness may have already started, actually. I'll leave you with something random. Great Scott, Marty! What is it, Doc? It's the Cree! What are Cree, Doc? Don't worry, lads. I'll deal with this. Oh, shit, it's Captain Marvel. You don't deserve to have Cree blood running through your veins, love. It's not just Cree blood that I've got. I've got Cree powers as well. Captain Marvel uses her powers on the Cree.
Ah! Oh.